And then part of the Lord, but we're friends. I would come on anyway. He was like, yo, we take care of our people. We send cars for them and everything. Yep. And if I remember, I drove myself to your podcast today. Yeah. And I talked to all my all your other friends, the white people, and everybody else had cars. Yeah. I'm just trying to get a clear understanding on why I couldn't get a car. And not only that I couldn't get a car, I I know that your guests come up here, you offer them beverages. Yeah. Like um like mint tea. Wheat shots, <laughs> you know, no and, shots. And, and and I'm a little upset because I don't know if this is racist or whatever. The cucumber part is definitely white. <laughs> okay. The watermelon part, did, was it like, a, like, did you guys, like, who was responsible for Dude, giving the black guy? There's a survey <laughs> online. It says if you look up flavors that, that you know, urban what's, what's, people you know, like. Urban, right. What urban people meaning? People, you know, from. From inner city? From. From the city, yeah. Any, overall, are they like a specific, <laughs> okay. are they a specific shade or anything, or just anybody? I mean, is it reserved just for Latinos or blacks? I just want to get the bottom. <laughs> like, I mean, we just don't identify with certain things, like when it comes to uh, like depression. Yeah, white people can identify with depression, anxiety, post whatever post traumatic yeah. stress. They could deal with that. You know what I'm saying? Like you ask a, 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 a white person, are you stressed? Yeah, I'm really stressed. I feel a little depressed. Yes, white person, you stress. You stress. Black person, like, nah, I ain't stressed. I'm just a little fucked up right now. Right you know what I'm saying? Like that. It's, a, okay. it's the words you use. You know what I'm saying, dude? So I, I always have these weird theories, you know, man. And like, I don't think I'm racist. Like, I think I first off, anytime someone starts to sentence off with, I don't think I'm <laughs> yeah, racist. Yeah, yeah. It's a little bit, but you got <laughs> types of races. The type that people understand it is right. comical, and it's the type that gets you fucked up. So, yeah. what, which one were you dealing with? I think there was moments when I what was. What type of races are you? I am. <laughs> <laughs> you answer that question no, quicker than the answer of Family Fuse, right? Give your fan. You know, your fan will call her right there, like, good answer. Good answer. Good, good answer. answer. Well, knowing two black friends is, is better than having fucking cable these days. You know, black people like to laugh more. They like to. There's just more shit going on. They might know something. Somebody well, that got shot, like there's just black more people excitement. like to laugh harder. Harder. Like you do a you do a um a black comedy club, you know if they like you. Yeah. You know if you get a oh shit stop stop <laughs> this motherfucker yo 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 stop it they let you feel it. Yeah. And it's so weird because I came up from the black circuit, you know. Right. So I'm used to people doing when I do my shows. If you rip it, you can feel it. Then I start doing the mainstream and crossover stuff, and I start doing white rooms. And it's, sometimes it was hard to tell because you'll get a <laughs> chuckle. They'll point to you like this. Now, that's funny. Oh, that's a great bit. <laughs> <laughs> or this, two thumbs up. Oh, yeah, up. thumbs up. <laughs> and, like, I couldn't understand. I would do shows sometimes. i get off stage. I was like, I hate that shit. And they would come like this. Oh, my God, you fucking killed, bro. <laughs> the way you set up and the premise and the callback you use, I'm like, I don't want you to break down comedy, motherfucker. I want you to laugh. But also in the black community, in the black comedy club, you have the joke haters. Yeah. The motherfuckers just angry for anything. Oh, yeah. And joke haters, they almost like ventriloquist. Joke haters laugh like this. Z. <laughs> you know, you'll say some funny shit. They like, za. You good, you good. You was funny, but you wasn't funny, 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 funny. <laughs> but white people, and white people, when they like you, they fucking get on the Yelp reports. Yeah. <laughs> They're the only people that do the comment cards. <laughs> if you look at a comment card at any comic club, there's never gonna be a Steinberg. <laughs> I mean, there's never going to be a Johnson or a Smith. Fuck that comic comic club. White people are like, oh my god, who is my favorite? <laughs> yeah. They 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 leave comments and they always sign up for the email list. Yeah, yeah, they, they always <laughs> white people are everybody's <laughs> guest book, son. Yeah. When the show is over, it was like, um, I noticed you didn't mention anything about your guest book. <laughs> is there a place where I can sign up for your newsletter? <laughs> Black people just like, how did you know about it? Nigga told me, son. <laughs> <laughs> who told you about the show? The streets. Nigga, <laughs> do you like sometimes what I miss like old school black guys? Like now it seemed like a lot of the black guys are like a little softer, like a little bit. Like I saw a black guy with glasses the other day. Like you'll see, <laughs> it's nothing wrong with yo. That's so disrespectful, son. <laughs> Man. It's nothing wrong with the glasses. Everybody at some point they like probably wear glasses. Now the disrespectful motherfuckers, they always gotta let you. They think it's a level of intellect when they just keep pushing it up. Oh yeah, I hate the ones that like. Yeah, and they those people in glasses, but you shouldn't. You, you know, just because a black person wear glasses, I don't think you should form any other opinion of, about them because of that. I, I feel like it was. It seemed like there was just different black kids when I was growing up than there are now. You know, like they had a black guy with the other day with asthma that I met, and that shit fucking. Yo, every black person I knew growing up had grew up growing up 
had asthma. Oh, so. really? Yo, when you living in projects with metal lead pipes and shit, <laughs> oh, like that, that's you're, true. Gonna, you're gonna have some respiratory issues. Son. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Go to Cleveland, yeah. lead pipe. Anywhere in New York, lead pipe shit, you gonna have asthma, son. Respiratory Yo, when issues. your parents are smoking Newports in the bathroom, son, <laughs> you gonna have an asthma pump, son. Yeah, I'm true. just that's, that's some shit that just happens, son. You wasn't no real nigga if you ain't had asthma Damn, when man. I grew up, son. Damn. Yo, you ain't got asthma. <laughs> you can't hang with us, son. <laughs> Oh, nah, asthma have an ass, motherfucker. <laughs> Where your asthma at? You better have some asthma around this bitch, son. What about asthma? The- yeah, but white people have allergies. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, like, hold on. White people, I'm going to tell you. Nah, no, no. I'm not a, I met a fucking black no, guy today people- who said he was feeling dizzy, bro. And that shit fucking <laughs> shit. That bitch, he was a little fucked up Fuck right now, uh-uh. son. They have allergies. White people have allergies. And they let their allergies be known. I can't well, get on a flight now without some white person stopping me from getting that tissue bag of peanuts, man. Get a motherfucking train, bro. You know what I'm saying? Hey, train. guys. Hey, 300 people. Um, <laughs> Michael Michael Herbenwich, I'm just trying to give up the whitest name, has an allergy problem to peanuts. So now nobody can have peanuts. Get the fuck out of here with them allergies, Fuck bro. that, man. I know that uh, Reverend Al Sharp is at a point in his life. He he's a vegan right now, so is he, he don't really? do. He, yeah, he's a vegan. What is that? How do y'all treat that? That seems not like a black thing. In to the do. black community, we think. I know this is so fucked up. If you vegan, we think you gay at the same yep. time. You know what I'm saying? And I like, and look, man, I feel you. And and I can mean like just changing your diet. Black people are so homophobic. Like changing your diet could cause some alarm. <laughs> oh, you know what I'm saying? Go to like a hamburger spot with a black dude, and you order your cheeseburger with like. Blue, I love with like Swiss cheese or cottage cheese. They'll be on the phone. <laughs> they'll be, they'll be on the. Oh, not cottage cheese. Swiss cheese. Or like order crumble or blue, burger. blue cheese. If you order blue cheese, as if you order blue cheese around, that's a, a burger, gateway drug to they'll, dick. They'll, they'll be on. They'll, they'll be on. That's a gateway. They'll be on the phone like, yo, this motherfucker changed, son. I just caught this motherfucker eating a, with a burger with blue cheese. Not that he chose a better cheese, but I caught him eating. Yeah. Yeah, you know damn, what I'm saying? Bro. You don't put mayonnaise on your burger. You're just gonna be some issues, yeah, son. Yeah. And you don't gotta answer to me. You gotta answer to the streets. Yeah. Is that the life you want? If that's how, <laughs> that's the, the perception you want people to have of you? That you eat burgers with Swiss cheese and cottage cheese, oh, I never crumbles and shit that. like that, damn, man. It's, yeah. it's gross, bro. Yeah. Straight up crafts, deluxe, all day. Represent. But this past election was interesting because a lot of people were upset during this election. Black people were upset. Asian people were upset, gay people were upset, but white people were really upset. Yeah, 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 yeah. And the difference between white people anger and black people anger was black people anger was protest of Black Lives Matter. And white people was like, okay, we'll see about that in the morning. <laughs> yeah. They pulled their pants up, pulled their pants up, and they went to the polls. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And anytime you see a white person do it like this, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I don't care if it's politics or whatever, it's gonna be some change. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you, if a white person is like, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's about to be some change. You better exercise your right to vote and you make the change, son. You know what that is. Yep. That shit is hilarious. Yep, 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 yep. It's hard to really. It's hard cheer to. For and then him. what you got to understand, people are always like jobs, jobs, jobs. I don't subscribe to the notion that there aren't jobs in America. I agree. If it wasn't jobs in America, you wouldn't have motherfuckers <clears throat> over here swimming, being on rafts and everything to, get, to here. get these jobs. The whole thing is Americans are selective on the jobs they want. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You can get a job. Might not be the job that you want, but you can get a job. Not being able to get a job in America is bullshit. You're lying. I agree. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, and in certain communities, like certain communities, a job wouldn't even make it. Yeah. Like in the hood, a job could walk in the hood. Yeah. Shake a motherfucker's bed and be like, who is this? I'm a job. And the mother wake up and be like, this man, what the fuck are you doing in here, bro? Ain't nobody looking for you, man. Go down to Home Depot. They looking for you down there, man. I thought you was the weed dude, son. Oh, yeah. You could break down like, oh, I see why. Mom always had a babysitter. Yeah. Mom always in the club. You know, he always saw mom come home with the just got smashed outfit and stuff like that. I contribute. <laughs> I, I contribute. You know, the kids know. What yeah, mom no, I smashed, know. You know? Yeah. We don't get in our feelings, son. Yeah. We don't get in our feelings, you know? And if you get in your feelings, you go smack somebody. Like, yo, I, would, I almost cried. Smack you, son. I'm yeah. Good. I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> Shmoney, trade <laughs> all day, son. <laughs> no, not on a joke, no. But if you guys had to wrestle or something, would you do it? I'm uh, of the age where I don't take chances on shit like that. Yeah. <laughs> I, I learned my lesson. I tried to dunk on an eight foot basketball rim two years ago. I popped my patella, and that's anything physical is over. If it's Damn. not treadmill where I can jump in and jump off, 
And I also have two fights that were captured on TMZ that I didn't connect. <laughs> I didn't connect, so I don't want that three strike. I'm just gonna stay away from that shit. That's where you go get the strap, get the goons for that. So. And my goons usually have Jewish last names now, so I we're know, not gonna huh? fight you in the street. We see you in court, bitch. <laughs> These Israelites. In the darkness of the night, a flicker starts to glow. A beacon in the shadows, a light that starts to flow. Illuminating pathways where once there was despair. In the depths of obscurity, hope begins to flare. Like a flame in the wind, I ignite from within. Casting rays of brilliance, banishing the din. With each step I take, I brighten up the way. In the realm of shadows, I become the day. I'm the light in the darkness, the spark in the night. Guiding lost souls towards the morning light. Through the tunnels of uncertainty, I'll be the guide. For I am the bearer of hope in me, dreams reside. In the labyrinth of life, where shadows dance and play. I'm the ray of sunshine, turning night into day. With every glimmer I cast, I unveil the unseen. In the tapestry of existence, I'm the golden sheen. From the darkest corners to the highest peak, I'm the radiant glow that even shadows seek. With every flicker, every beam I emit, I dispel the darkness, I never submit. I'm the light in the darkness, the spark in the night. Guiding lost souls towards the morning light. Through the tunnels of uncertainty, I'll be the guide. For I am the bearer of hope in me, dreams reside. In the symphony of life, I'm the crescendo's rise. In the canvas of the universe, I paint the skies. So let the darkness tremble, let the shadows flee. For in the heart of radiance, I'll always be. I'm the light in the darkness, the spark in the night. Guiding lost souls towards the morning light. Yeah. yeah, it's nice when a kid can make their mom laugh. I think it makes them feel good, you know? Yeah. yeah. If you can't make your mom laugh, then you might think of a different profession. Because <laughs> your mother supposed to laugh at everything. Your mother supposed to laugh when people think say you're the most handsome person. You're supposed to be the best looking person in your mom's face, in her eyes, and everything. Yo, yo, what type of... If you don't got the support from your mom, your shit is done, son. Oh, okay. You about to buy that stock pump or in <laughs> You about to buy an assault rifle. Bro, why does it seem like all tall black guys, if they don't play ball, they work at the airport? Is that a real thing or is that just my imagination? Yo, that's man? your imagination, man. It is funny, oh, man. That is funny. I don't know. Maybe they're good at putting the bags up. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what it is. Yeah, I don't know. That's fucked up because when you're six, seven and you ain't playing basketball, you got to yeah. answer that question for the rest of your life. For the rest of your life, you six eight. No, and then you gotta start making up shit. I played in China, and then I tore my ACL, and then I just I got a job at the airport, bro. <laughs> Word.